if you want to build the ultimate six-pack physique and a strong core. Do these exercises now. Core Crusher. 10 minutes of abs exercises for a ripped physique. Welcome back to our channel. In this workout, we'll take you through a series of exercises designed to target every part of your core. Let's get going. First up, we have plank shoulder tap. Begin by getting into a forearm plank position, with your elbows directly underneath your shoulders, forming a straight line from your head to your heels. Engage your core to prevent your hips from dipping or lifting and keep your body as stable as possible. From this position, lift one hand off the ground and tap the opposite shoulder, alternating sides. As you perform the shoulder taps, focus on minimizing movement in your hips and legs. This exercise is excellent for engaging your transverse abdominis, the deep core muscles that help stabilize your spine and pelvis. It also works your obliques, shoulders, and lower back. Perform three sets of 30 seconds. Here's a fact. A well-rounded core workout targets not just the abs, but also the obliques and lower back muscles, ensuring full activation for maximum definition. Next, we have hanging straight leg raises. Hang from a pull-up bar with an overhand grip, making sure your arms are fully extended and your body is straight. Engage your core and, keeping your legs together and straight, lift them until they form a 90-degree angle with your torso. As you raise your legs, focus on using your lower abs to initiate the movement, rather than swinging or using momentum. Slowly lower your legs back down with control, maintaining tension in your core. This movement primarily targets your lower abs, but also engages your hip flexors and improves grip strength. It's important to avoid arching your back or letting your legs swing excessively. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Did you know? Core exercises help enhance your stability and balance, crucial for performing other complex movements and everyday activities. Next up is Russian Twist Chop. Sit on the floor with your knees bent and feet lifted slightly off the ground, creating a V-shape with your body. Hold your hands together in front of your chest or, for added difficulty, grab a weight or medicine ball. Lean back slightly to engage your core, then begin rotating your torso from side to side, performing a chopping motion with your hands as you twist. Keep your core engaged throughout, focusing on squeezing your obliques with each twist. The key is to rotate from your waist, not just moving your arms. This exercise targets your obliques, rectus abdominis, and lower back. Perform three sets of 20 to 30 reps. Fun fact, while core exercises strengthen the muscles, they also help burn belly fat when combined with proper cardio and diet, revealing a more sculpted midsection. Next, we have bicycle crunch. Start by lying flat on your back with your hands lightly resting behind your head and your legs extended. Lift your shoulders off the floor by engaging your upper abs and simultaneously bring one knee toward your chest while rotating your torso to bring the opposite elbow toward that knee. Extend the other leg straight out, keeping it off the ground. Switch sides in a smooth, cycling motion, alternating knees and elbows. This classic exercise targets the upper and lower abs while emphasizing the obliques, providing a full core workout. Focus on controlled movements rather than speed. Perform three sets of 30 to 45 seconds. Check this out. A strong core provides vital support to the spine, improving posture and reducing the likelihood of lower back pain or injury. Next up is Mountain Climber Kickout. Begin in a high plank position with your hands directly under your shoulders, body forming a straight line from head to heels. Start by performing a mountain climber, driving one knee toward your elbow. Once the knee reaches the elbow, place your foot back down. Then, extend that leg out to the side in a kick-out motion, keeping your core engaged and stabilizing on the opposite arm. After completing the kick-out, bring the leg back to the mountain climber position and repeat on the other side. This exercise targets your abs, obliques, and shoulders. 
perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps per side, focusing on smooth transitions. Here's something interesting. Core exercises improve your body's ability to perform functional movements like lifting, bending, and twisting. Next, we have the up double crunch. Start by lying flat on your back with your arms extended overhead and your legs straight. Engage your core as you lift both your legs and upper body, reaching your hands toward your feet in a V-shape. After completing the first V-up, lower your legs slightly and perform a double crunch by reaching your hands forward towards your shins. Then, extend your arms back over your head as you lower your legs. The V-up portion targets your upper and lower abs, while the double crunch focuses on squeezing your rectus abdominis for a more intense contraction. This movement is great for building core strength. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Did you know? A strong core is key for enhancing your athletic performance, whether you're running, lifting, or engaging in sports. Next up is flutter kicks. Lie on your back with your arms by your sides or under your lower back for extra support. Lift your legs slightly off the ground and keep them straight as you begin alternating small, rapid up and down kicks. Engage your lower abs to control the movement and avoid arching your lower back off the floor. The faster you kick, the more intense the exercise becomes, but it's crucial to maintain proper form. Flutter kicks primarily target your lower abs and hip flexors, and they're great for improving endurance and core stability. Perform three sets of 30 to 45 seconds, focusing on smooth, controlled kicks and maintaining tension in your abs throughout the set. Here's a great benefit. Core workouts, when combined with high-intensity movements, can boost your metabolism, making it easier to burn fat throughout your body. Next, we have crab twist toe touch. Get into a crab position by sitting on the floor with your hands and feet planted and your hips lifted off the ground, creating a reverse tabletop. From this position, lift one hand and reach for the opposite foot as you raise your leg towards your hand. Lower both your hand and foot back to the floor and repeat the motion on the other side, alternating between sides. This exercise engages your obliques, shoulders and legs, while also improving your balance and coordination. It's a dynamic move that challenges your entire core and provides an excellent stretch for your back and hamstrings. Perform three sets of 12 to 15 reps per side. Check this out. Certain core exercises not only strengthen your muscles, but also enhance flexibility in the torso, which improves overall movement and reduces injury risk. Next up is side plank knee tuck. Start in a side plank position with your forearm on the ground, your elbow directly under your shoulder, and your legs stacked. Keep your bottom knee bent for stability and extend your top leg out straight. Engage your core and perform a knee tuck by bringing your top knee towards your top elbow, crunching your obliques as you move. Return your leg to the extended position and repeat. This exercise is excellent for targeting the obliques, improving lateral core strength, and increasing stability in the shoulders and hips. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps per side, focusing on controlled movements and maintaining a strong plank position. Fun fact, a focused 10-minute core workout can deliver significant results when done consistently, allowing you to build a strong midsection. Finally, we have Suspender Reverse Crunch. Set up a suspension trainer or use gymnastic rings, placing your feet in the loops so that your body is supported in a plank position. From here, engage your core and begin pulling your knees toward your chest, lifting your hips slightly as you perform the reverse crunch. Slowly extend your legs back out to the starting plank position and repeat. The reverse crunch targets your lower abs, but the suspension aspect adds a greater challenge by forcing you to stabilize your entire body as you move. This movement not only works the abs, but also engages the shoulders, arms, and deep core muscles. Perform three sets of 12 to 15 reps. Congratulations for completing today's workout. 
you've just pushed through a series of exercises that hit every part of your core, helping you build strength, endurance, and definition. Keep working at these movements, and you'll see your core transform. If you want to use this program as your main workout guide, I challenge you to complete this workout three to four times a week for the next months, and you'll soon see great results. Thanks for joining today. If you have enjoyed this workout, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with friends and family who may benefit from it too. We look forward to seeing you in our next video, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. Endurance Builder. 10 minutes high intensity workout for stamina and strength.